What we're going to do now is work with seasons. We're going to see how to create and use seasons with both products and orders. So, what might you want to do with seasons? Seasons are simply a list, so we can create spring, summer, fall, winter. And then what we can do is we can assign these to sales and purchase orders. Now, sales and purchase orders can be assigned a single season. Products, however, can be assigned to one or more seasons. What you can also do is set a current season or active season, and that means that every new order will automatically be set to that season. What this allows us to do is it allows us to prevent operators from adding old season products to those orders. So when you're adding products to an order with a season set on that order, you can only see items that have either been assigned to that season or do not have a season at all. And I'll show you that at the end of this video. What you can also do is filter the sales and purchase reports by season. You can also filter the products by season to see which products are in those seasons. However, what you can't do with seasons is export season data from the product or order listing screens. So let's see how to set up to use seasons. First of all, you need to activate the feature, then you need to add your seasons, and then assign seasons to products, and if you want to, finally set a current season. The first thing we need to do is activate the seasons feature. So from the setup area and the product inventory section, go to inventory settings, and then all the way at the bottom, choose Yes for Product Seasons. And save changes. And then on the left-hand side, you'll be able to use the Seasons menu option. So click that, which takes us to an empty Seasons list where we can start adding our seasons. So let's go Spring 2013, Summer 2013, and so on. The season description is just for your own use, it's not used anywhere else in the Brightpole system. What I'd also recommend is creating a season called Archived or Old Products. And we'll use this season to hide certain products from sales orders. Once you've added all the seasons you need, go back to Inventory Settings, and if you want to assign a current season, you can do so at the bottom. So let's choose Summer 2013. We've now set up our seasons, so we can move on to assigning seasons to products. There are three ways to do this. Firstly, through the product edit screen, one product at a time. Secondly, we can batch up date products from the product list. And thirdly, we can import from a spreadsheet. So the first method from the product edit screen simply involves going to the product information tab, and then from the seasons menu, selecting all the seasons that are relevant for this product. And you can select more than one. Once you've chosen your seasons, hit save. The next way to assign products to seasons is from the product listing screen. So pull up the products that you want, select them, and then from this menu, choose set product seasons. Choose the seasons you want here, and you can hold down control and click or command and click on a Mac to choose more than one season. Note that what you choose here replaces any information on the product itself. So if you unselect all of these, it will set these products to have no season at all. But let's choose Spring and Summer 2013. And that's now set the season for those five items. The third and final way to set product seasons is by importing a spreadsheet. Now you don't actually have a season column that you can put into a data map, but if you just put the SKU or the product ID, what you can do is you can import that file and select seasons at this point. Again, holding down Control or Command on a Mac, to choose multiple seasons. When you import the file, the only thing that will be updated is the season. Don't forget to untick skip items, tick update only, and actually import the values. And importing a list of SKUs will then set the season for them. What we'll do now is we'll use seasons with orders to hide prior season products. First of all, we'll make sure this Kayak Spray Deck is only assigned to our archived season. So let's choose archived here and update. And that's the product that we've run out of stock of and we don't want to show for sales operators. So now let's create a sale. We'll go to New Quote, choose the customer name, select the customer. And because we assigned Summer 13 to be the current season, it's automatically set on this sale. And if I start typing the item code, you'll see that no product is coming up. If I search for another item, these products are assigned to that season, or else they don't have a season at all, 
so that they're showing in the search. If I chose to unset the season on the sales order, and then again search for that spray deck, you can see that now that the order doesn't have a season, it's bringing it up on the search. So if you've got lots of SKUs that you don't sell anymore, it's a good idea to use seasons. Just create a current and an archived season if you want, and put the old products into that archived season. If you want to find products on a certain season, use batch add price list items, which opens the modal where you can search for your product name, and then select the season itself. So this spray deck is in the archived season, so it appears here, but it's not in the spring 2013 season. So if I search there, no products appear. It's worth noting that if you don't search by season or don't filter by season here, then all of your products are going to appear. Next, we'll take a look at filtering reports by season. So on the sales or purchase listings, the filter applies to the order season. On the sales or purchase detail, which shows the line items on those sales or purchase orders, the filter applies to the product season. On the sales analysis reports, which are the ones that start sales by, the filter is for the order season. So in that first case on the product list, let's find all of our archived products. We'll click show filter, and then we can choose one or more seasons here. Let's select archived and filter the report. There's our kayak spray deck. If we go to the sales list, there won't be any sales for the archived season because that's a product season. But what I can do is from the season menu, note that you can only choose one, is choose the actual orders season and then filter the report. The sales detail report, however, which you can get to from reports sales detail, filtered by the product season. So here we've got a sale for Carl with that kayak spray deck, which is in the archived season. And if I actually choose archived from this particular filter, you'll see that it's bringing that line item up. So what that lets us do is it lets us find all products in a certain season for orders that might not be in that season. So you can find out which products sold after the end of their selling season. And the last filter I'm going to show you is on the sales analysis reports, which are under reports, sales by brand, channel, customer, lead source, product, or product type. And here we've got our sales analysis by product, which is all of our top selling items. If I go to show the filter, I choose an order season here, so all orders assigned to the summer 2013 season, and filter that report. And that takes us to the end of the video, where we see how to create and use seasons with products and orders.